Hi, some old guy coding here again, and I'm back and fresh after my trip, and uh, I've got a bunch of new subscribers, thanks to everybody who subscribed to me, and I think even the wife has subscribed to me now, so I have to be careful what I say, so we'll just keep an eye on that. But I wanted to show you one of the things I'm working on before we move on to something else. I've got some cardstock that's relatively thin, and I wanted to try to cut a puzzle out of it or something with a laser, but... You know, you've got to go through and test, uh, you know, what power, what feed rate, what, uh, how many passes you have to make to get through the material. And uh, that's a lot of setup and bother, and I'd like to get it so it's just right. So I've been working on this program. It's just far from complete here. Um, but let me start it up. This is in Unity, just because I have it handy. And you can see I'm starting to populate some of these fields. Uh, the rest of this isn't written yet. Uh, but you can set the uh, size of the uh, object and the, the height of the object and the thickness. And then uh, what the intent is that this thing will make a grid of circles uh, of a varying uh, option on the horizontal axis and a very variable option on the uh, vertical axis. So we could go across to the horizontal axis. Uh, 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 you know, X could be the... Uh, um, feed rate as we have it here and then the vertical axis could be the number of passes and depending on what I put in here it would be the number of how many steps there would be across but as you can see then we could figure out where the the line would be um, that uh, uh, feed rate versus passes where it would start cutting through the material so instead of setting all this up in something like ESTL cam or or uh, Fusion 360 I just thought it would be nice to have a program that generated these things and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> anyway, on to the real topic today. I found this really cool owl that uh, I'd, I'd like to try to engrave with, uh, with an engraving bit on the CNC machine today, the mostly printed CNC. So I've, uh, I've downloaded this. Let's, let's go ahead and download it again. That's me up there. And uh, we'll go ahead and try to tip the designer. Oh, well, but they don't accept tips, so we'll let them know that they should be accepting tips. There we go. Otherwise, we would have tipped them for such a nice piece of artwork uh, to interest us today. There have been several test cuts over the past week. Um, while I tried to massage uh, Release Candidate 8 of the Marlin firmware into functioning, but uh, there was no way. It looks like they're working that on uh, the vicious1.com uh, forum. So we'll leave that to smarter minds. And meanwhile, I've flashed my... Uh, um, Marlin or my uh, ramps card back to uh, Marlin uh, release candidate 7 off of uh, the uh, vicious one website and after I did that we successfully completed a, a cut into foam however there are some artifacts that I've noticed in here interesting artifacts and I've taken some photos that I'll overlay um, under the screen here as we're going through this. One of the artifacts is this, uh, there seems to be a little bit of a, a center part to this nose that I really was expecting that to be cleaned out entirely. Not sure why uh, that's there. And compare that to this section down here where that did clean out entirely um, but there's another problem. There's an artifact. This line here, you can see this kind of opal line with lines connecting to the end. Uh, that's in the uh, styrofoam too, just ever so slightly. <clears throat> but So here I have my engraving bit installed. I'm using the latest version of uh, that I, well, uh, it's, I don't know if it's the latest or not, but it's, I'm using uh, uh, ESTL Cam 10.008, and it looks like he probably fixed some issues uh, that I was having earlier here too. And maybe the problem I'm having is an issue. Uh, we'll find out. I'm new at this, obviously, so if anybody can recommend anything, let me know. So let's start off with the tool that I have set up here again. It's uh, 6.35 millimeters wide uh, with, uh, with a um, uh, feed rate of 10 millimeters and a Z feed rate of 20 millimeters. So 
this uh, hopefully won't be an issue. It it wasn't. It was certainly an issue on uh, on uh, release candidate eight. Even slowing that thing down to like two millimeters per second after a period of time, it did fail. So we're uh, back to release candidate seven. So here we are. Uh, we have the uh, five uh, percent overlap um, and the uh, sixty degree set for that. And we've got that uh, tool selected here. So we're going to go in here. We're going to set carve. I've got Owl loaded again, and uh, my grid set up for 100 by 100 millimeters. So you can see that this is about 300 millimeters uh, wide and uh, about 200 millimeters high. So let's go ahead and we'll start filling this in again. <clears throat> and of course, uh, when you have a uh, carve set and a set to automatic, uh, you have the option of either uh, uh, engraving both sides or one side or the other side. So just be careful where those arrows are pointing before you. Uh, before you start clicking, and I'm just going to invariably I will make a mistake here, and you'll see what uh, what we do about that. All right, we'll move up here. <clears throat> Get the nose or the beak rather. Did I get that little guy up there? Yep, I did. Ah, and there's my mistake right there. You see I engraved the inside instead of the outside like I wanted. So I'm going to go back up here and uh, press select. Otherwise, you can also hit escape. That does the same thing. It'll take you back to the select mode, which is really nice. I'm going to select it, right click, and delete. Uh, Control Z doesn't seem to do anything. So this is the way you have to uh, correct a mistake. All right, so in select mode here, we have these white areas that we need to fill in. <clears throat> Otherwise, they're going to be left uh, unengraved. So we need to increase the maximum car width on here. And I'm going to go to 45 millimeters just to uh, skip some intermediate steps. Uh, you'll see here that it expands fully. It takes a moment to run. There we go. And uh, we've got some white space here that we want to make sure that we fill that up. So I'll just uh, bump that up to 20. And this one up to 20. Okay. And let's take that guy up too. All right. So if we take a look here, you see there's still some issues, some light areas here, some white areas there. Now, especially down here, now well, let's take a look at this, uh, this center part again. Um, I'm just going to bump that up periodically here. We're going to fill that guy all the way up in fact here. So it's just like that. It was the nose that I was having the problem with. It was a little bit was being left over, not, not the bottom part. So if you fill it up like that, you'd think that it would take care of the Noahs, but no, it was leaving uh, it was leaving an area in here. So miss, perhaps I'm misunderstanding, you know, the 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 meaning of these paths here. So what we're going to do is uh, just hit the right button and fill that guy entirely up too. So now with all these other little bits here that need to be expanded, just uh, do a selection box. Let's take them all up to 40. Way overkill it should be. It'll take a few minutes here to work. All right, and now that that's done, <clears throat> let's go ahead and make sure that we didn't lose anything here. This little guy is still uh, engraving. That's still full. That's still full. That looks good. So at this point, Oop, there's a little light area here. You see this? I almost missed that. So I'm going to take this outside 
round and we're going to increase that to uh, to 20. All right, that seems filled in. Let's make sure we didn't lose this other guy in the process. No, that's still there. This one here, this one here, and this one here that look a little thin in there. And we're going to bounce those up a little bit too. If I can click the right button. There we go. That looks better. Right now, at this point, I, I'm go I would save this uh, to a, a CNC or G code file and uh, we'll cut uh, a similar result. In fact, there's a, there's a good look at that uh, beak where I thought this whole thing would get cleared, but it did not. So I think it's just a matter that I was misreading the, uh, what, the, what the lines meant and, and needed to uh, expand all the way out. So there's two. Let's go all the way to uh, the last one here. If I have it, this must be the last one. It's uh, clean. Uh, it's got a little schmutz right there, but, uh, um, right there, but I think that's just uh, uh, dust. So this one uh, cut clean there. And if we go on to the next one, you can see that it cut clean at the bottom of the feathers here too by expanding those paths all the way out. And one more view here, it looks like uh, everything was nice and clean down in these tail feathers. So thanks for watching. I'll, I'll put some of the video uh, after here of it, uh, of it working.